way, but I'm like, you know what, patience. <laughs> Yep. Sounds good. Hey, how are you? Well, oh. what's going on? Uh, Maria? Sorry, I'm just upset because I'm frustrated. But... So, I own this house. Um, I rented it out to one of my friends. Uh, she never signed the lease, so I was like, whatever. I'm a realtor, so I know okay. how it works. And I just didn't have her sign it because I was like, you know, right. she's my friend. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, so her and her boyfriend were living here, which I never agreed to him moving in, but I just let it slide, whatever. So they had broke up last week. Um, she came up to me and said, I can't afford the rent anymore. Do you think it could lower it? So I lowered it $400. I then was like... It's a substantial lower. Yeah, absolutely. She's my lower. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry. She has a lush room, which is my guest room. She has a bedroom. She has her own bathroom. So, uh, whatever. So then... Um, she had told me that she's going to continue to look for apartments or whatever. So I was like, okay, just please keep me updated because I'm either going to have to pay double or find someone else to Absolutely, continue to move right, right. So I was away this weekend and um, I was like, hey, any updates, whatever. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm actually going to leave before November. So I'm like, okay, that's two weeks for me to find someone. Like, shit, I gotta find yeah. someone. Right, right. So luckily I found someone. They said they move in for the full rent um, on November 1st. And then I had, I had told her that. Um, I was like, I listen, and I was like, listen, I, I will, will let you stay, but I need the full rent because I yeah, already have someone absolutely. else who's going to do it. So she lost her mind on me. I tried to have a conversation with her multiple times. I got home at 5 a.m. Her boyfriend's now here. So this morning I asked him to leave. They haven't left since 9 a.m. I've been here. Um, obviously, they are both my friends. I don't sure. obviously did not. Yeah, let absolutely. Go. You're not uh, letting, trying to let her get too personal. How long have you been here? Uh, since April. I mean, I tried to have a conversation, she, she just screamed in my face, so, okay. and her dad just called me, and I was like, okay. Oh, we will, and then we'll come back to the Hold on, so, uh, how are y'all doing? So, what's, what's the issue um, here? Um, I called the, um, the, I think it was like the night you went 10 minutes ago. Um, she was supposed to call him, I, I think around like 10.30, I was sure. still sleeping. She, I had blocked her and everything because this happened two days ago where she just let up on a trip to the mountains. I think it was for four or six days and right before she left, I was doing, um, I was talking with her in the room and I was like, hey, like this is my first rent that I'm going to have to pay by myself. And what's it called? The deal was, was that I paid for the two rooms mm -hmm. and the one bathroom right in between mm -hmm. sure. $1,100. At first you made a contract that I don't know if I showed you, but it is in my emails um, of the, the first before. I, I don't know if it was like right before when I was my first week here. She was like, hey, we should sign these and stuff. Um, the rent's going to be $10,000 or whatever. And then, come on. Or a thousand dollars. Oh God! I was like, <laughs> whoa, what? Sorry, thousand dollars. <laughs> and then he Love actually okay. that same week, I was like, you know what? I basically stay with my he sleeps with me every single day, so I would be I would think it's more fair, if, you know? Like it's fully like we're splitting the rent, mm -hmm. you know, me and him in the room. She was okay with that because we're all friends. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, this is her house. Oh, okay. This is her house. She is her house. actually is a realtor, mm -hmm. so she bought this house to live in with her ex, mm -hmm. and that she were they were supposed to split the mortgage, but then they ended up having like a um, a breakup. So she was like, hey, I'm renting out the other room. Sure. It was supposed to be um, me and another girl, but you see the other room that's next to it's really tiny. It's kind of just like a closet. Room. Sure. Okay, so um, six days ago, I sat her down and I was like, "Hey, friend, like I'm just letting you know, like that off that other room that was supposed to be mine for my closet. Like all your stuff is in the closet, and it's, it's her desk there. It's her, her office room now, which is fine. She actually, her dad came down. And she was like, "Do you mind if I put the desk and me trying to be a friend?" I'm like, "Yeah, of course. If you can, you know, she's a realtor, so I'm like, if you need time to make calls and you want me, like that's not a problem at all. Like it's not like I use the room to live there. I just right. put my stuff there." So she said, "Okay." She put the desk here, and when we were talking, when I brought that up, I was like, you know, it's basically your room. So if you feel more comfortable with me paying less than $1,100 for that room that basically you're using, I'll get all my little stuff out there that most of it is yours, and I'll put it in my room. And she was like, no, you don't have to do that. By the time we know this time, we're still, like, best friends. And she's like, no, we don't. No, you I don't have to do you that. You don't say friends. How long have you been friends? We've been friends for seven months. We've actually known each other mm. for maybe like a year because right. we lived at the same so. place. But we weren't like close where right. we just now, six months ago, started hanging out, being, right, you know. Right. Gotcha. But like before that, we, we were just work buddies. Gotcha. You know, our friend, our whole friend group is kind of just like work buddies because sure. we all work that way in house. We all Absolutely. work the music. 
So um, that talk, I was like, hey, like, I just don't think it's enough. And she was like, I completely get that or whatever. She was like, you can pay. Um, I asked for 750 She said, is it okay, 800 And we agreed. And we obviously have the messages the whole thing. Right. And she was like, all right, you can pay $800. The, um, while she was there, um, she called me and she was like, hey, um, when do you think you'll be out? And I said, I'm going to try to have a place by November. Like, you know, me right. thinking that, you know, obviously this is my best friend. So me thinking that I can maybe be out by November 15th. Like, sure. you, she's a realtor too. So she knows that Dude, also. Are you? Are you? No, 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 no. Okay. She's a realtor. So what I'm saying is that she knows that it takes more than 10 days to find an apartment. You Absolutely. Know? So that's why when it was me being like, I'll move out by November. I've never, and we can go through the messages. It was never me saying I will be out by November. First. Before this, I was living with my parents. Mm -hmm. You know, this is my like first time moving out by yeah. myself, having think like I've never. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, and then there was this situation, and you know, it was me trying to be a grown up and move out, but it was always her house. She sure. could tell you that I always respect that this was her house. Anybody that came in here, I said, this is Quinn's house, and I'm renting out that room. Because it is. I, yeah. I'm 23 Since, years old. Since since the, exactly. Yeah. No, no, yes, there was a contract made, but it did not get signed because the okay. new rule that so, he was so there's staying no, there's here. No, there's no sign. No. Okay. And she also raised another $100. How long have you been here? Four, five months. How long have you been here? Five months. So we He's the same time, oh, yeah. Together. Just oh, the okay. first week is when that happened. That's why that contract didn't get signed. So, yeah. what? What makes you? What's gonna make you happy in this situation? So the thing is, we're trying to leave. We're we're trying to get out of here about the first. So she's telling us that we need to get all of our stuff out and go. She's changing like the now. locks right. Yeah, right now. Yeah. She's telling us she's changing the locks right now, and we're we'll, we'll have to set up a time where we can get our stuff like. I got a I got a seven hundred dollar TV in there. You know, like I got. And all of my clothes yeah, right now, right? No. no, and but that is the thing that I was like we're trying looking, to tell her. I was like, right I'd never stuff. like, can now I please stay here and gotcha. live in this awkward ass place? Like you know, so like just, like, just imagine you having a best friend. To the, to the November first, because so. you know we paid the rent. The, I got right, the receipt. Right. Me sending her the cash. Go back inside and stay in your place, and I'll tell her what the laws are. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just. That's what this is what we needed. This yeah. is because we didn't want she was saying that she's gonna call people and And that's the other thing that. we were no, talking about it because You guys are trying to go out peacefully yes. and, and find find you and, and I, I got that. Uh, what what what's playing her look? If I first, she's cool with that. I'll write it out, do your yeah. thing, just do your best as soon as possible. That's what I meant. We're trying to stay in your room, but then yeah. also I didn't know how to go about it because no, she was like, you. since you don't want to have a conversation, the locksmith is right now. And I'm like, I need, yeah, I you know, I just I mean, need to get my stuff out. It's 10 yeah. days, you know, I will be out by the first, all of her stuff up, but yeah. that is what, you cool. know, before so, me and her fighting, I just was like, let me yeah, talk yeah. up. So keep, she knows keep the rules. Yeah. No animosity exactly. happens here exactly. and, and it becomes, you know, a hostile that's environment. And that's the last thing you want. I can see that from you guys. So. So hopefully with, with him explaining that to her, you guys can do your thing, all right? Thank you. I would just, like I said, recommend it expediting it as soon as possible. Well, I, I, I know it's a pain, no, pain to find an apartment, but... 100%. No matter what, like, I'd rather ask yeah, for help anytime. than be here any longer than this person. Yeah, yeah. I know that's not an option, and we're both very aware of that. Yeah. We just want to make sure that we're not like, hey, are you here? Like, then she works 9 to 5, she's always working, so I can't yeah. depend on her time to move out in 10 days. Just because right, right. it's such Especially a... Especially with the locks changing. Yeah, it's my that, first so. time moving out, and I really just don't know what Yeah, she can't do that. So, yeah. so, I appreciate it. Yeah, no appreciate problem, guys. It. I really appreciate you talking. Yeah, no problem, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Well, we'll be out by then. So, how long does an eviction take? Best case scenario, 21 days. Okay. That's, that's not it could take a while. It seems like they are trying to, trying to, to make, to make moves. Like, okay, he has been to jail. He's not going to get a, a thing. She has, doesn't have a job. Right. She's not going to get an apartment, so that's so, my problem. So there. next time you rent, after this is over, right? I didn't know. Yeah. Do, uh, do, a, do a background that's yeah. mm -hmm. No, I haven't lived alone forever. forever. Uh, <laughs> for you. After that, okay. but... Um, Lesson learned. No, it's just I... Obviously, I just know they're not going to get an apartment, so I'm sure. like, they're going to stay here. Go and start, go and start the eviction process. Well, okay. Yeah, I would start that immediately, yeah. just Good. in case. First it seems like tomorrow, they're trying to do it, but... You never know. Yeah. yeah. So like, rent here is way more expensive than you think, and they might not be able to get out. I don't know what to do for a living, but that's rent's expensive, yeah. so... <laughs> oh, well, they ain't going to get out at all. No, that's you know? what I'm saying, and I gave them a the yeah. big right. deal. <laughs> but just... Just try to stay apart in the house. Yep. Obviously, like, we don't want you know, kind of disturbance oh, yeah. to happen. Yeah. So that way we don't get people getting called out here. Just try yeah. your best to get along until the process is over. Okay, so that. do I just go to the police station to do that? Okay. 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 So I'll go and just say, ask me to file a fiction. That's normally all I see the sheriff's office. I'll come out here and serve them and all that. But there's a process you have to go by. 
It's, it's, it's much rigmarole, and I think it costs a deal fee as well. Huh. All right. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Under contact, but it been terminated.